What are the symptoms of a Taylor osteochondral lesion? The first thing to realize is that many Taylor osteochondral lesions are asymptomatic and are picked up incidentally with imaging for other issues. If you do have symptoms from your lesion, they might involve pain, swelling, catching, clicking, or popping, or having an ankle that feels loose or unstable. Why does a Taylor osteochondral lesion develop? These lesions are thought to develop from one of two main mechanisms. Either an acute injury, such as a bad sprain or twist to the ankle, or because of chronic repetitive overload of the ankle joint. How is a Taylor osteochondral lesion diagnosed? Suspicion for one of these lesions begins with either a history of a sprain or injury to the ankle, or with a physical exam that shows tenderness or laxity of the ankle. Oftentimes, plain x-rays will be obtained to look for the lesion, and if it is not found, or if more resolution is needed, a CT scan or an MRI may be obtained afterwards. How is a Taylor osteochondral lesion treated? Many Taylor osteochondral lesions, especially if there are no flakes or chips of cartilage, can be treated non-operatively. This management typically includes some combination of bracing, splinting, or casting, limited weight bearing, non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, and physical therapy. If non-operative treatment fails, or there are loose pieces of cartilage or bone in the joint, Surgery may be needed to relieve pain and improve function. Surgery is typically performed through small poke holes and a camera is inserted into the joint. The defect in the bone is scraped free and it allows scar tissue to form in the defect. Occasionally, additional procedures such as ligament reconstructions are needed as well. If an osteochondral lesion is large enough or a patient has failed a simpler surgery, sometimes a larger procedure is needed. This typically involves plugging the lesion in the bone with some combination of bone and or cartilage. This bone and cartilage may be taken from the patient or may be derived from donated tissue. In conclusion, a Taylor osteochondral lesion is an area of damaged bone and cartilage on the lowermost bone of the ankle. Many of these lesions do not cause pain, and many of the ones that do cause pain will resolve without surgery. If surgery is needed, a relatively small procedure oftentimes provides relief and restores function 